Hey, what's up everyone? Sam here. So live TV is always risky. You can practice and plan as much as you like, but you're always open to the unpredictable. However, the unexpected can sometimes produce some of the best bits of TV. So in this list, I'll be showing you five of the funniest live TV mess ups. Number five, Janet Jackson. In 2004, Janet Jackson and Justin Timberlake performed Rock Your Body for the Super Bowl halftime show. The Super Bowl halftime show is arguably one of the most viewed bits of TV in America, therefore the performance has to go as planned. However, in 2004, in front of an estimated 143 million viewers, Janet Jackson and Justin Timberlake did the ultimate mess up. Justin went to pull off a bit of Janet's costume, the plan was just to show her bra. However, it all ripped off, exposing her breast in full view. It was a mess up in epic proportions, however it gained Janet a lot of publicity. She became the most searched person online and people started thinking it was done on purpose as a publicity stunt. Number 4. Steve Harvey there have been quite a few funny mess ups in pageants in the past, most taking place during the Q&A section. However, in 2015, the world got one of the biggest flops when Steve Harvey announced the wrong winner. Miss Universe 2015 is Columbia! After much anticipation, he announced the winner to be Miss Columbia. Miss Columbia was presented with the winner's crown, sash and flowers when the mistake was made public. I have to apologize. The first runner-up is Columbia. Miss Universe 2015 is Philippines. It turns out the real winner was Miss Philippines. They had to take the crown for Miss Columbia and give it to Miss Philippines all live on TV, creating one of the most did that really happen moments on TV. Number 3. Ashley Simpson how do you end a music career in a matter of seconds? Well, Ashley Simpson did exactly that in 2004 when she performed on Saturday Night Live. She just finished performing her hit single Pieces of Me and was about to perform Autobiography. That's when Pieces of Me came back on and while her mic was clearly by her side, the vocals started playing. On a Monday This obviously indicated that she was lip-singing all along. Unsure of what to do, some of the cringiest moments of TV occurred when she decided to randomly dance and then eventually leave the stage. Now she could have probably just held her hands up and say, okay, you got me, I was lip singing. Instead, she decided to blame her band for playing the wrong song, which made the public really lose their respect for her. Number two, John Travolta. Mispronouncing someone's name is not a total mess up, especially if you kind of get it right. However, literally creating a new name for someone and doing it live at the Oscars is an epic fail. John Travolta is no stranger to remembering lines. After all, he is a Hollywood superstar. So when he was tasked with introducing Frozen singer Adina Menzel, there really shouldn't have been an issue. However, instead of saying Adina Menzel, he literally said Adele Dezim. Here to perform the Oscar-nominated, gorgeously empowering song, Let It Go, from the Oscar-winning animated movie, Frozen, please welcome the wickedly talented, one and only, Adele Dazim. That's right, Adele Dazim, not even remotely close to her actual name. Now you're probably wondering what the hell happened. John Travolta did finally spill the beans to how this mess up occurred. He told Jimmy Kimmel that the producers spelt her name in phonetic spelling, which in the moment he struggled to read and his mind just somehow created Adele Dazim. Number 1. Guy Gomer 
by far one of the funniest and priceless mess-ups on live TV comes from the BBC. Guy Goma was just a guy waiting in a BBC reception room for a job interview. When he was called up, sat down and interviewed live on TV about Apple's court case with the Beatles, a subject he was no expert on. The moment he realised that he must have been mistaken for someone else was caught live on TV, and the face he pulls is simply priceless. Music online. Well, Guy Cuny is the editor of the technology website uh, News Wireless. Hello, good morning to you. Good morning. Were you surprised by this uh, verdict today? Obviously, there was a big mix-up. It turns out he was mistaken for Guy Cooney, a technology expert. However, Guy Goma improvised and answered all the questions pretty well. Do you think uh, now more people will be downloading online? Uh, actually, if you can go everywhere, you're going you're gonna to see a lot of people downloading uh, to the internet uh, and the website, uh, everything they want. After the mess up became front page news, Guy Goma was shot into the spotlight. He became an overnight celebrity, appearing on many different chat shows to talk about the experience. However, amazingly, despite everything, the BBC never gave him the job he originally applied for. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up as it does help me out loads. And let me know in the comments what kind of list videos you'd like to see next. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram. All my links should be on screen and in the description below. But once again guys, thank you for watching and until next time, feed your mind.